Hi dear parents, welcome back to another math hour. Today I just wanted to teach you about the concept of reciprocal. It's, this is an incredibly important concept to learn and very easy to learn. It's very useful in algebra especially. And I just wanted to show you how it's done. Um, basically reciprocal is means a number, let's say x, multiplied by some other number, which will always give you the value or answer of 1. Okay? That's what reciprocal means. For example, let's see, uh, if we take the number 5, I need to multiply this number to some other number, and which will always give me the value of 1. And the easiest thing to do to this 5 right here is to turn it into a fraction. That's what it means basically to take a reciprocal of a number. So if I take 5 and turn it into a fraction, or 1 over 5, guess what? 5 multiplied by 1 over 5 will always give me the answer 1. So you see that? That's what a reciprocal is. Let's try another one. If I take the number, let's see, if I move all this first, and I take the number minus 11. If I take its reciprocal, in other words, uh, I turn it into a fraction, which will be minus 1 over 11. And then if I multiply this, minus 11 multiplied by minus 1 over 11, well, guess what? Minus 11, minus 11 cancels. And there we go. We get the answer of positive 1. Okay? Now, you're probably wondering why that's the case. That's because this minus sign applies to both the 1 and an 11 right here. Okay, so this is what a reciprocal means. You're just taking the fraction of the number. Uh, I'll show you another one. Let's try a fraction this time and find its reciprocal. Let's take 3 quarters, 3 over 4. If I want to find its reciprocal, I'll just flip it upside down. I'll just turn it into 4 over 3. And how do I know this is the reciprocal? I'll multiply it. 3 over 4 multiplied by 4 over 3. Let's see what do I get. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 divided by 12 is 1. There we go. That is how I know I got a reciprocal right here. Let's try another one. Any number. Any number you can give. Let's try, oh, how about, I don't know, minus 27 for example. Let's turn it into a reciprocal. Minus 27 will just become minus 1 over 27. You see that? Uh, how about a positive number? Uh, uh, this is 232. 132 becomes 1 over 132. You see? How about a mixed fraction? We can do mixed fractions. Sure. Let's try a mixed fraction. Uh, let's do... Um, how about 2 one-thirds, for example. Well, before we take the reciprocal, let me first turn this into a regular fraction. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. And 6 plus 1 is 7, so you get 7 over 3. And then if I take the reciprocal of 7 over 3, it turns into 3 over 7. You see? That's how you find the reciprocal. You just take the number, any number, x, and you just turn it into its fraction, 1 over x, like that. And you just check. When you multiply it, does it equal to the number 1? If it does, it's the reciprocal. Thank you.